Thank you for joining us today for another life-changing encounter with the Word of God. This broadcast is brought to you by Rema Chapel, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. You're welcome to a center of transformation and a love-filled environment you can call home. Our vision is to build lives with the Word to impact our world. God has a word for you and especially prepared his servant to share this message with you. We hope this message blesses and equips you to triumph in life, impact your world, and fulfill purpose. Now, let's dive into the message. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year, daddies, mommies, sisters, brothers. This year shall be our year of divine recovery. You know, as I sat down and I listened to the testimonies, I was reminded again. And what I was reminded is in a song. And I don't know if the choir will help me. I almost let go. I, I felt like take life. Anymore. My problem had me bound. My problem, My problem held me bound. The Depression. But God held me close. So I wouldn't let go. Oh, God's mercy. So I wouldn't let go. So I. If it is by your mind that you are here, you can sit down. It is by your intellect that you are here. You can relax. Actually, many are the affliction of a man born of woman. But it pays to be afflicted with Christ than without Christ. Whatever you are going through, the only thing to check 
is what? Eh? Is Christ here? Am I with Christ? Once you check that, what you are going through is common to men. Bible says, for there is no temptation that has overtaken you. You know there are some scriptures that has... When I go through something, I look at some, some people that God has put in front of me, some of my fathers, my mentors, and I said, this one has gone through it. And he's standing today because God helped him. So that gives me hope. And the only thing to check is, am I with Christ? And you know, when the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, it did not stop there. It said, but the Lord delivered him from them all. So that means that whatever you are going through now, they are temporary. They will soon pass over. But you know, that scripture says, many are the affliction of, the key word there is, And you know, each time I have opportunity to to stand before God's people, it's not that I don't know how to maybe excite people. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if I'm funny. Maybe I don't know how to get people unnecessarily. But there is a desire in me to get people to where things happen, which most of the time might not necessarily be something exciting for many people. One of the keys for this year's success, I have been praying that God open my eyes. If you were very careful to listen to the prayer chain prayers and you see consistently what God had been saying and the crossover prayers and what our father in the Lord just mentioned it looks like the key to survival this year is to realign with God and that might not be necessarily exciting to many people but I think As long as we get it right at the coordinates, whenever you want to draw a graph, I don't know how many of us still remember math, you need to have a reference point where you go from, isn't it? Origin. Our doctor there will tell us. (laughs) And as long as that coordinate is not well defined, there's no direction. When you say we are at this point and you mention an arbitrary number, maybe longitude 50 and latitude this, people will say, oh, well, when you mention longitude, people already know what you're talking about. When you just say we are 5,0, five, five, people will say, where are you? From where? And if our life will have bearing this year, honestly, Because our Father and the Lord said, on individual level, your survivor is where? <laughs> is where? <laughs> and I know that this is supposed to be called to worship, but tomorrow's, and this, this, this call to worship might be a little different. We want to look at what God looks for in worshipers. Because true worshippers are actually those that might survive, that will survive the happenings going forward. Jokingly, I've been thinking connection is gradually losing its place. You can't say you know somebody now. Everybody, even if you call somebody, say, look. <laughs> if you say hello, I say, look, my own problem is enough for me, just uh, nations of the world. Now, you remember in those days, you remember the reason for UN? UN is so that 
big brother nations can help younger nations, isn't it? Uh, I realize that there is no, people are no longer pay, playing big brother relationship anymore. Everybody is, is having serious problems to battle with. So to say, I, I know somebody, I know this, I know that, that one, huh, the only person you can know and you can boast now is the Lord. So what God looks for in worshipers, so that we quickly get that as we move into the year, and so that our worship will be acceptable. John 4, I really thank God for the Sunday school. God bless you. Ah, you really made my job easy, actually. John 4, 19 to 24. I'm not going to read everything. I will jump to verse 23. Said, but the hour cometh, and now is. When the true worshippers shall worship the Father. Our daddy was trying to mention that word in the morning. In spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. You mean God is seeking? As they are. Almost 10 billion people on the earth now. God is seeking worshippers. Are they that scanty or rare? And I realize that God has been seeking these worshippers since Old Testament. And honestly, Jesus was speaking there and he said, God is seeking. He's, he's a continuous, you know, this, this is Old King James. If you read good, good English Bible, you, you will realize that God is still seeking. And honestly, the reason why God was looking for Noah, you remember when God destroyed that early, early life, the reason why God found Noah was because of this issue. God was seeking for worshiper. And when God thought that, I found somebody where we thank God, let's destroy the whole world and let this guy just go ahead and... Uh, and then just uh, be the, you know, just populate the whole world with worshippers. <laughs> Immediately after the flood, the guy got drunk. <laughs> and God was thinking, we thought we found a worshipper. The guy got drunk. The guy started cursing his children. And God moved on. God said, let's look for another person. God found Abraham. And Abraham, you remember how God struggled with Abraham for many, 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 many years? God said, well... Let's make a covenant with, with this one at least. And you see how God was looking for people. God was looking for David. And he said, a man after my heart. And as soon as God wanted to be rejoicing that, oh, yes, we got somebody. He went to sleep with Bathsheba. God. And each time, God had seemed to have been, you know, laid hold on somebody. A manifestation would just arise. And God would just move on. Until God found Christ. And the Bible says, God said, This is who? My beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And Jesus is speaking here, he said, The Father is seeking. And you know, as many that are in Christ, genuinely, they are that true worshiper. True worshiper or worship, actually, thank God for the Bible, for the Sunday school, has nothing to do or has little to do with good music. <laughs> let me put it that way. Don't, don't let me say it has nothing. You know, worship does not begin with high sounding, harmonious, well orchestrated musical instruments. It begins with a life whose sinful nature has been crucified with Christ. Hmm? I don't know if, it's, if, it's, if it looks like I used to be in the choir, but actually, believe me, I used to be in the choir. It doesn't look like that anymore. My voice is very bad now. Why were we in the choir? 
We are the ones that will come and lead worship. Oh, raise holy hands. Oh. Among us, fornicators. We will go to night vigil. We will tell our parents that we are going to night vigil. Although there are, there are some of us that are some, some holy fear. You know, I'm praying that God will put his fear in the heart of our children. You know, sometimes the, the fear of God is not really that you don't want to sin, but it's just that you are afraid. <laughs> sometimes you are just afraid. Some holy fear that will not let you. So, so we will go to this night vigil and we were in the choir, choir vigil. And then while we were in the choir and some of us were trying to sleep, some people that would play instruments, they've identified some cool girls among us and they would go and fornicate. And after they finish, you will still come to the vigil. You know, you, you need to sleep till 12 a.m. I don't know if you remember Nigeria. They don't usually start vigil. Uh, you need to, you get to church early. You sleep till 12 a.m. You now start the vigil. You remember? <laughs> so all those sleeping till 12 a.m., they've gone to do something. When we come back, we will now do vigil. You, want, you understand what that, those kind of vigil? When you do vigil, Sunday service, we will come and lift holy hands. And we thought that we were worshiping God. You know, I don't know, I don't know if things have really changed now. But that place said, God is looking for those that will worship him first. Where? Where? And that, that's where the, the message is going to end. Do you know the meaning of that in the spirit? They are not worshiping in the flesh. Works of flesh, Galatians 5.19, has been crucified in their lives. They live life. Actually, worship is a life, not the fruit of your lips. When you wake up and your life is glorifying Jesus, you are worshiping him. And this place said, what God is looking for, people have been singing since Old Testament. So it couldn't be singers that God is looking for. Levites are good singers. It couldn't be singers that God is looking for. God, Jesus said God is looking for true worshippers. And unfortunately, none of the disciples could sing, actually. I, 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 is there any one of them that you, saw, you remember has a very good voice? No. God is looking for true worshippers. I want to make a call today. If you are in Christ, but you see that your life does not actually reflect Christ, let's bring everything back to, you know we are starting a new year. Let's bring everything back to the foot of the cross this morning. And if you are not yet born again, actually say to the wicked, <laughs> Eh? People are no longer reading the Bible now. Say to the wicked. Okay. You are the one that said it though. <laughs> the point is that going forward, you need to be in Christ and be sure. And now for that to happen, this is the first day, the first Sunday of the year. Let's come, let's do a realignment. You know, I used to have a car in Nigeria. I didn't know about cars, and then I just got this car. And all of a sudden, I've, drove, I've driven the car for many, 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 many times. I can't even remember. And all of a sudden, I was going one day, and the team was doing like this. Ah. I said, why is this car dancing? Ah. I was so, in fact, you know, each time I drive, my ears is always sensitive. I, I, I try to, I listen to everything that is going on. And I drove, and I went to the mechanic, and the guy said, ah, you need alignment. As your life going like this, like this, in and out of Christ, we need alignment. If we will sing praise and worship, and that praise and worship will command the same order of resort that we see in the scripture, we need alignment. People that we reference and say Paul and Silas, they pray, these are not enemies of God. When we say Peter did something, they sing something. In fact, Jehoshaphat that sang and three nations were killing themselves. 
Bible says, and Jehoshaphat was a righteous king. So if we want to get the order of results that is in the scripture that we are talking about, it has, we have to make this alignment on this first Sunday of 2021. And I don't know as many people that are saying, actually it's true. You know, I get angry, I still quarrel, I still fight, I still, I still lie, I still deceive, I still do this. Although I'm a worker, although I'm a minister. Yes, you can just talk to God and say, God, I need this alignment. If your dance will be acceptable to God, you need this alignment. If your praises will be acceptable to God. You need this alignment because actually what God checks before he checks the food you are bringing to him is your life. Isaac, they were bringing that food to Isaac. You remember when, when Jacob was bringing that food to Isaac? How many of us still remember that story? Do you know the first question that Isaac asked? Eh? Did, did, did Isaac ask, <laughs> what kind of food is that? No, no, no. He said, who is he that is bringing the food? That is the very, the very first thing. And I don't know how many of us, we are here, we are online, and all you are just saying is that it's true. I want to make this realignment. Because you want to praise God and you want God to come down, you need this realignment. You want to praise God and you want God to go ahead of you in this year, you need this realignment. Because these are the people that God is seeking for. Will God find you a true worshiper this morning? I want us to be on our feet. And just tell God and say, Lord, I want to praise and worship you this morning. But this kind of life that, is, uh, that I notice, that is happening, that I'm living, I think I need a realignment. Look, just quietly talk to God and say, this area, that area, that area, Holy Spirit, you will help me. You will help me to put a finger upon it. You will help me to deal with it. You will evacuate this wrong thing out of my life. Because I also want to praise God and I don't want my praises to be an abomination to God. I want you to open your mouth and talk to God and say, God, I need this realignment. I need this realignment. Maybe you are doing ushering or you are in the choir or you are a minister or you are even in the pastorate and you know that God has been putting a question mark on my life. Today is the day to make the realignment. I say, God, I need this realignment. It's not just about dancing. God is not a magician. If our life will not be right, whatever we present to him will be an abomination. I want us to talk to God and say, God, oh, I come to you this morning. I come to you this morning. Oh, as you are quietly talking to God, as many that are here to give their life to Jesus, I invite you today. Because it is only he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High that shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Can I invite you to, 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 to come to Jesus? Can I invite you to just give your life to Jesus? Can I invite you to just tell God, I say, God, I submit myself to you. I also want to hand over my life unto you. What, what, what a day to do such. A very remarkable day. He said, on the, first of, of, on the first Sunday of 2021, I gave my life to Jesus and ever since my life has been on a higher pedestal. Do you want to talk to God and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, make me a true worshiper. Whatever is, not, is, not, is in my life that is not making me a true worshiper. Lord, I submit to you this morning, evacuate it. And as I begin to worship you this morning, you will come and abide and dwell in my praises. You will fight my battles for me. All the mountains ahead of me, you will level. Great testimonies will follow my praises. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. As many as have prayed and has given their life to Jesus, I welcome you into the family of God. Actually, when you had our brother giving his testimony, he said the devil came like this, the devil came like this, and he kept saying, I am an overcomer. Greater is he that is, it is only when you are with Jesus that you can say that. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 
I want us to close our eyes. Father, thank you. Thank you for how you have brought your word to us today. Because you are interested in helping us. There is no way we will have, we will have just been singing and dancing. Actually, unbelievers also sing and dance. But for us to see the other result that we have seen in the scripture, our life needs to align with what the word is saying. Lord, we have come to you this morning. Accept us, O oh Lord. Whatever area of our life we have exposed to you, deal with them for us, O oh Lord. Lord, let there be a new dawn henceforth in our lives. In the name of Jesus. As many that has given their life to Jesus, Lord, help them to stand. Lord, encourage their heart. Lord, get them rooted in, in you in the name of Jesus. And every prayer that they pray henceforth, Father, please answer them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you for listening to the message. We hope you were blessed and are ready to run with the word. Our goal is to build you with the word of God so you can impact your world. This broadcast was made possible through the support of our partners. Please visit our website at www.theremachapel.ca to see our service offerings, join us in any of our live events, and to learn about how you can partner with us. Thank you and God bless.